Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is a classification of uh, antiarrhythmic drugs. Uh, right now, I'm discussing about the drugs, uh, sorry, about the USMLE step 1 pharmacology. So before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel, that is All Unknown Law. Uh, and please tell your friends to subscribe, okay. Uh, this is about the general idea and regarding the individual and the important drugs for uh, USMLE examination, I will discuss separately. Okay, let me start with this. Try to concentrate on this. This is very important what I am talking right now. Okay. Uh, this is about the action potential, right? So, this is about the action potential. You have the different stages from 0, 1, 2, 3 and a 4. Okay, so this is about the look at the position, look at the stage in which the following the um, electrolytes act and causes action potential. So if you block the following channels, then it helps you in the treatment of uh, arrhythmias. So from zero, one, two, and two, three, and four. Okay, so these are the class. We have a different classes right now. I will discuss about this. Okay. So we have a very uh, the, the antiarrhythmic drugs that blocks uh, sodium channels, okay, the potassium channel uh, uh, blockers, okay. So these are very important I'm talking about right now, okay. Okay, look at this. This is the class 1, class uh, 2 here on the four, four side, class 3 and class 4, okay. So class 1, uh, we have a different class 1A and class 1B, uh, okay. So regarding this, I will tell you about the different uh, classes later. In a class 1A, we have um, these uh, drugs blocks the uh, fast Na plus channels. Okay, uh, preferentially in the open or activated state, state dependent blockage, what we call. And there is an increase in the action potential duration, that is the APD and effective refractive period ERP. And also these drugs, class 1A, also blocks the potassium channel. Remember, okay, K plus channel, they also block. Okay, the, the drugs included in this are quinidine and uh, procanamide. Procanamide is a very important drug for your USML examination. I will discuss later. Okay, then class B, 1B, we have an antiarrhythmic that block again the fast Na plus channels. Block inactivated channels. Whereas preferentially the class 1A preferentially in the open and activated state and a state dependent blockade. Okay, that's very important. And a block inactivated channels preference for the tissues partially depolarized, slow conduction in hypoxic and ischemic tissues. This results in an increased threshold for excitation and less excitability of hypoxic heart muscles. Uh, there is a decrease in the APD, okay, here in the class 1B due to block of uh, slow Na plus uh, channels. But this increases diastole and extends the time for recovery. So try to, because in the class 1A, there is an increase in the action potential duration. Okay, in a class 1B, there is a decrease in the action potential duration. Okay, these are the basic ideas of the class 1 and the class 2. Okay, let me move on to the next slide. Um, the drugs included in this are class 1B is a lidocaine, uh, mexilatine, tokenide. Okay, so there are the lidocaine is very important drug for USMLE examination. And there is also in a class 1C. Uh, that blocks uh, again the same uh, fast Na plus channels, no effect on APD, that is the action potential duration, no effect. First one, class 1A increases the action potential duration, class 1B decreases the action potential duration, whereas class 1C uh, does not have any effect on APD, that is action potential duration, okay. The drug included in this is a flaconamide, okay, sorry, flaconide, 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 okay. Uh, Okay, now we have a class 2, definitely you know very well, class 2 is uh, nothing but uh, beta blockers. Okay, the, they prevent the beta receptor activation which would uh, normally increase uh, increase in the cyclic AMP. And there is a decrease in the SA node, uh, SA and AV nodal activity. Uh, decrease in the slope of, uh, okay, phase 4, what you see. Okay, this is a class 2, phase 4 is a class 2. I think it's a blurry, but you can make it out. Okay. Um, the drugs included in this group are uh, propranolol, okay, esmolol, okay, uh, and class 3 are the uh, potassium channel blockers. Class 3 are potassium channel blockers. Uh, here you can see potassium channel, okay. Potassium channel blockers, uh, they decrease the potassium uh, slowing phase 3 of action potential, increase in the APD and ERP, okay, especially in a Purkinje and ventricular disease. So the drugs 
the important drug in this class is amiodarone okay this is very important drug it's this the peculiarity the the, the beauty of this drug amiodarone is is it can mimic it can act in a different classes also like 1 2 3 and a 4 remember though it acts by blocking the potassium channel but it also can be uh, in a different classes like 1 2 3 and uh, 4 okay it increases the apd and erp in all cardiac tissues okay so this is very important and uh, i had discussed about the importance of amiodarone and very important drug for your usml examination and a class 4 we have uh, calcium channel blockers okay here you can see calcium channel blockers uh, they block the calcium channel uh, of uh, cardiac muscles uh, there is a decrease in the zero phase and as uh, what you call um, phase zero and uh, phase uh, four okay so phase four also uh, remember mm, okay okay let me start with this okay let me move on to the next they can also block the phase 4 remember this calcium channel blockers uh, the drugs included in this are verapamil and diltiazem okay here is the classification of the drugs i discussed about this you know, this is a brief idea you can get it from uh, this uh, beautiful table just go through once okay so look at the 1a 1b 1c 2 and a 3 okay uh, we have different four we can include calcium channel blockers if they don't include it's okay you can include in the calcium channel blockers a fourth class okay uh, so they decrease the phase zero and phase four remember look at the drugs included and look at the important drugs is uh, procanamide very important you should know beta blockers amiodarone satolol uh, okay so try to memorize these things Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video, take care.